Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles ready. Get your pens, pencils, and papers to take some notes. We are going right into the book of Revelation chapter 1. First, we are going to go into prayer. Gracious God, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for the privilege of studying studying your word together right here on today. We recognize that it is through your Holy Spirit that we gain insight and that we gain understanding. Bless our discussion today and help us to grow, to grow in your knowledge, in your faith and love for you more and more each day. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. All right, all right. We are not going to waste any time. Any time we are going into the book of Revelation. Now right here, here's a bit of a summary of the introduction here. And um, in Revelation chapter 1, the Apostle Paul introduces this chapter by stating that it contains the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants the things that must shortly come to pass. John describes himself as a witness and recipient of this revelation. Now John explains that he was in the spirit on the Lord's day when he heard a loud voice behind him sounding like a trumpet. He turned around and saw a vision of Jesus Christ who appeared in his glory. Now Jesus had seven stars in his right hand and stood amidst seven golden candlesticks. His appearance was radiant and his voice was very, very powerful. Now John fell at the feet of Jesus as though he was dead. But Jesus reassured him saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Jesus then instructs John to write the things that he sees, both past and future, and to send the letters to the seven churches in Asia. Now John provides further details about the vision, describing Jesus as having eyes like a flame of fire and feet like fine brass. He carries a sharp two-edged sword coming out of his mouth, symbolizing the power of his words. Jesus reveals himself as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and the Almighty. John explains that he was on the island of Patmos, Patmos, for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus when he received this revelation. He heard a voice like a trumpet telling him to write what he sees and send it to these seven churches, the churches of Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatria, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. All right, all right. Now I want you to pull up your Bibles, if you haven't already, to Revelation chapter 1. Amen. Now, I will be reading from the KJV version. And I'm pulling that up right now. 
Hallelujah. Now this goes to verses 1 through 20. And I will begin reading, starting with verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written. Verse 4 John to the seven churches which are in Asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever amen verse 7 behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion, in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isles was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard before me a great voice as of a trumpet saying I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatria, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. 
And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Unto me, fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. Verse 20 The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars and the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Amen. This concludes Revelation chapter 1, verses 1 through 20. Very, very powerful words here. And let me go back to verse 16 here. It says, And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And this, this verse right here reminds me of the word of God. It's quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. That's the scripture right there. Hebrews 4.12 piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart that's the word of God sharper than any two-edged sword Hebrews 4:12, and right here verse 16 Revelation chapter 1 expounds on that verse at Hebrews 4:12. Amen Amen Amen. All right, now, this is very good word. This is very good counsel. Now, we're going to go into a conclusion here and sum this up of what all this means. All right, in closing, John shares his response to the vision, expressing his awe and reverence for Jesus. He reiterates that the vision and the words he hears are true and trustworthy. The chapter ends with Jesus giving John the charge to write down the things he has seen. The things that are and the things that will be hereafter. In summary, Revelation chapter 1 sets the stage for the apocalyptic visions that follow. Introducing the revelation of Jesus Christ to the Apostle John, who was instructed to write down what he sees and send it to the seven churches. The chapter emphasizes the authority, power, and majesty of Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega, who holds the future in his hands. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we conclude this Bible study here, we lift our hearts in gratitude for the insights and revelations we have received. May your word take root in our lives and produce a harvest of righteousness. Guide us by your Spirit and empower us to be faithful followers of Christ. Bless each person present here and keep us in your care until we gather again. In the loving name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. This concludes Revelation chapter 1 when we meet again. We will go into Revelation chapter 2.
So study up. I'll do an introduction. And then I will read the scripture. I'll start out in, in a bit of a greeting. And I'll start out in prayer. Start out in prayer. And do an introdu introduction. Introduction, excuse me. Then we'll get right into the word. And after I read the word, then I'll go into a summary, a conclusion of it all, and end in prayer. Amen. So I just want to thank you all for tuning in. And um, as we go through the book of Revelation, um, we just pray for guidance and more of an understanding. Amen. I thank you all for being here. Such a blessing here to be here. And um, again, go ahead and read up chapter 2. And um, as many chapters, read ahead. And this is where we're going to be going through the whole book of Revelation. Um, and after that, uh, we are going to let the Holy Spirit read us as to where we go from here. So I just thank you all again for tuning in. Follow me on any of my social media sites. And I will be sure to follow you back. To follow you back. Um, any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, you are welcome to voice those. Send me a message um, on any of my social media sites or on my blog. The links are all in the description. And if you receive a blessing, you're receiving your blessings. Uh, your healings for from this ministry. You are free to offer a gift. And again, all those links are in um, the description. And just by you being here is a wonderful gift, a wonderful offering to the Lord. Spread the word, invite others. Download the shows as we know this is internet radio things. Get changed around, don't always stay on the main site forever so if you download the episodes you will have them on your special personal device and you will feel free to listen to them at your leisure amen amen glory to God so as you know I'm here every Tuesday every Thursday I'm um, God willing 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and um Spreading the word of God, keep your notifications up because sometimes I may come through um, in between Tuesday and Thursday to drop a message. Um, get your name on the email list in case things happen or change in the ministry, you will have that information firsthand. Um, and you get your name on the email list by going to my blog, going up to the right and pressing the three arrows there on that blog, blog of blog yes I've had it for years and um, it still serves its purpose and um, I have articles on there and everything as well so um, go up on that blog and again the link is in the description but when you go on the blog there will be three lines there click on those lines and it will be a drop down and right there you can put your email address and whatever um, you need to say um, any questions, comments, or concerns, or prayer that you need right there. And um, thank you. Um, I have links to my YouTube um, channels. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, one in particularly more. I think it's 20-something people and maybe more. I am having checked, but go ahead and subscribe to um, both of those YouTube channels. And um, every 50 subscribers, your name goes into a drawing, and um, there's a $50 cash prize. For every 50 subscribers, I pick a name. Um, just to give back, just to let you know that um, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you listening. And also, it helps to grow the channel to spread the word out to more people. Amen. So, thank you. For all your contributions, thank you for being here. And um, have a wonderful, beautiful day today. And um, 
go ahead um, as of this podcast right now it is July the 4th so um, have a wonderful beautiful July the 4th and God bless you all and go in peace Amen